got to work hard. You got to work hard. I'm not getting how to... I can't get this paragraph. I can't remember what the f*** is in this paragraph to pass this test to get in the military. Breathe again. Still not getting it. Breathe again. But if you're not getting it, write it out. And that's how I started learning. Okay, well, I can't. I got to write out everything I do. And then write it out again. And write it out again. And guess what happened? I got it. I got it. I can't swim. I'm negative buoyant. Go back again. I can't swim. Go back again. Go back again. Go back again. I got it. I realize if I keep going back and going back and going back until this just becomes, your mind will say, okay, we're going to figure it out. Because he is not going to stop. It's not like, I'm going to try one more time. No. I'm going to, it's just like, alarm clock goes off, boop, we're going back. I can't read right, we're going back. I gave myself no way out, and my mind realized that. It's okay, we're going to adapt to no way out now. Boo. Like, oh a lot of people say, trying hard. They, your mind knows, man. You know, this guy's bullshit, man. This guy's lying. There's no truth behind it. When I was in the Navy, still training, people go, how were you there for 18 months? The program was only six months long. You were in three hell weeks in one year. No one's ever done that. How did you do that? I talked about the new norm. When I lived in a $7 a month place and I was growing up for a short period of time, I loved it. I didn't know any, I, I didn't know any different. That was my norm. Once we moved out of that place, we moved to a $236 a month place. I was like, I never want to go back to that little pinky. But if you go back to that $7 a month place and you realize this is where I live, this is all I got, your mind says, Roger that. This is home. So when I was going through Navy SEAL training for 18 months and going back to all the hard parts over, over again, I told myself after the first time, I knew it was gonna be a long journey there. My body was breaking down. It was, it was just how it was going on. I said, you know what, this is my new norm. So my mind said, it's like going to work. It's like if you go to work, you put your suit and tie on, I go into suffering every day. Every day suffering, being broken, duct taping my feet up, stretch fractures, shin splits, being broken. This is my new norm. Mm -hmm. And your mind says, if we're not broken, this ain't normal. We gotta be broken. So then your mind starts to get tougher and tougher and more calf. How how'd you run on broken feet? Broken broken shins. My mind knew this is how we operate. We're in we're in Navy SEAL training. This is what we're and that became Hell yeah. I gave myself no way out. There was nothing outside these walls of hell. Nothing. I became I love God, but for a short period of time I became the devil. Because that was hell. I became, I became the boss, the owner, the CEO of Navy SEAL training. That was my mindset. And that's how you get through things. You put yourself, you immerse yourself wherever it is, and you become that. You become that and give yourself no way out. When I was 297 pounds and I was fat as hell trying to be a Navy SEAL, the scariest thing in the world to me, even to this day, was that that could have been the rest of my life. I thought then I was trying hard. That's the scariest thing in the world. I thought then, 297 pound, working for Ecolab, spraying for cockroaches, making $1,000 a month. I thought that was me at my 100% potential. Come to find out, a few years later, I wasn't anywhere near that. 106 pounds late. Graduated Navy SEAL training, went on to do all these other things. Looking back on that, that was me trying hard. That's why people gotta understand what is in us, we have no idea until we start trying hard. And I mean really trying hard, where you're obsessed with, hey, this is my new norm. My new norm is that, wow, this isn't always fun. It's not always meant to be fun. And that's when you know you're trying hard. Oh, yeah, baby. There used to be oh, yeah, baby. to buy a car. Oh yeah, baby. CarMax changed all that. Now, the pool is at CarMax. People hear my story and think this guy is sadistic. I realize how the, how the brain <laughs> works. 
I figured out how the brain works. I, I'm uh -huh. a scared kid, and that's uh -huh. so much power. Yeah. I had no foundation, yeah. and I built this yeah. off of just uh -uh. researching the uh -huh. mind. The feeling you get uh -huh. is basically uh -huh. invincibility. You realize that you can't do it all the time. When you need to do it, I know I can go to a place that I can live in. And when you know that you can run on broken legs and you can do certain Ooh, things that shit. a lot of people can do, but they're not willing to do Yes, it. yes, come on, 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 nigga, stay your ass up. Nervous system. Uh-huh. Fight or flight in your yep. body. It, it gives you this charge of energy. Mm -hmm. uh, when you're sitting there at 3 30, 4 o'clock in the morning and you're duct taping your feet Bang. Up, and you're doing it by yourself uh, and you're going uh, through arguing with uh, all this training and, uh, uh, and these guys, most of them are healthy uh, and you're going through uh, 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 and you're at a disadvantage <laughs> you're still there you can feed into that and tap into that for a lot of power but if you look at it wrong, I'm broken. Man. Like, I'm not going to make it. Oh, yeah. But if you look at it as, man, I'm broken and I'm still here. And I'm fighting. And I'm going to find a way to get through this. Because I have no other place to go. It gives you a lot of power. When things start to suck really, really bad, my brain and a lot of people's brain, uh -huh. they don't go to your dad beating you up. Your brain says, we have Oh, oh yeah. This is miserable. So anger goes away a lot of times when you're suffering. Because your brain just says, we gotta run. We gotta go. So that anger is not popping up saying, oh, I'm gonna show them. I'm gonna show those people. No. There has to be a much deeper. When I say deeper, it has to be down to mineral, mineral soil. It has to be down to nice mineral soil. I'm a bad man. You can't burn dirt. I'm a bad fucking so man, man. This dude that got this 99 that power, that and I beat the that dog shit out of him. Unless you spend a lot of time 99 power, and I beat like the dog shit. I, I can't give that to you. Right? You can't give that to you. Woo! When, when you man, find man, man, I tell you. Hell fucking yeah. 